Hello all, this is Komli from BBC Engineering College Order Review Autonomous. In this lecture, we will uh, discuss about clampers. First of all, uh, discuss about the definition and also uh, explain about the operation. I will explain it. So, according to the definition, so clamping circuit is a circuit which is used to clamp or fix one of the extremity to the uh, to a constant reference level it may be uh, fix one of the extremity we have uh, two extremities no positive extremity and the negative extremity so we can fix any one of the extremity to the required reference level so we can fix uh, in the upward direction or in the or also di downward direction like that so we can fix any one of the extremity to our reference level by using this clippers and coming to the operation so in the circuit of clamper we have uh, a capacitor so we can uh, we can clamp uh, we can clamp the extremity by one direction or two directions we can clamp in the both the directions so uh, coming to operation whenever the signal is transmitted to the capacitor coupling network it will lose its dc component then the clamping circuit is maybe to introduce the component dc component by fixing the fixing the any one of the extremity level to some reference level that extremity level to uh, uh, the reference level so this is the operation uh, of uh, clamper clampers are you uh, called as uh, dc inserters it will insert dc component or uh, DC reinserter and it may be called as DC restorer it will uh, whenever uh, we are we are supplying uh, any signal to a capacitor coupling network so it will lose its DC component so clamping circuit may introduce the DC component to it at the extremity levels so we can call it as DC restorer now coming to the types of uh, clampers we have two types positive clamper and negative clamper positive clamper is used to fix the positive extremity to the reference level or the negative extremity to the positive reference level in negative uh, clamper means we are fixing the positive extremity to the negative level or else zero level so this is uh, the, the two types of clampers now let us know about uh, positive clamper and this is the circuit for positive clamper so we have a capacitor here which is of uh, having capacitance of C and we have a diode D here we are neglecting the resistances and uh, V gamma and we also neglect the internal uh, voltage of C so which will be considered later in practical clamper we will uh, we will introduce those those two and uh, and this is the input we are supplying to this circuit and the required output will be like this that means that we are fixing the negative extremity to the positive level let us consider a sine wave which is having vm as maximum and minus vmm minimum voltage so we are supplying this to uh, the capacitor so uh, whenever we are supplying it capacitor get charged and discharged depending upon the capacitor charging and discharging conditions we got the output so let us consider a sign signal like this so from 0 to Vm what happen is we have a negative polarity here so there is no charging for the capacitor so there is no output up to Vm so we have no output up to Vm next what will happen is from minus Vm plus Vm to minus Vm the capacitor can charge whenever the capacitor is in charging position there is no output at the output port so here from up to here also we got no output 
so whenever uh, it is of charge it it has it is of uh, charging minus vm it is completely charged now so it is having minus vm now we are supplying the voltage from minus vm to plus vm so what is the uh, apply kvl now kvl so capacitor can access a voltage source of minus vm and we are supplying input and we are we are getting output so what will be the con what will be the expression for v not v not v will be equal to vi minus of minus vm that is v not sorry vi plus vm now at here what will be the output it is uh, it is uh, zero no so what will be the input minus vm it is of zero next at this it is zero so output will be zero plus vm so we have at here we have vm at the peak point it is of vm plus vm so substitute here we got 2 vm so it is 2 vm next here also we have zero no so output will be equal to vm so we got the output expression like that so the negative peak will be shifted to zero no so it is shifted to positive uh, direction so this is the operation of positive clamper now let's see the operation of negative clamper this is the circuit of negative clamper we have a capacitor connected to positive terminal uh, input is connected to positive terminal and the cathode is connected like cathode is connected here and anode is, anode is connected here so this will be our uh, required output so we are shifting our positive extremity to the negative level so let's see whenever uh, we are supplying uh, our input so from here we have vm this is minus vm from 0 to vm the capacitor will be in charging portion so then there will be no output after that it will store total amount of vm but we are supplying our input no so it will it will be added to our input so let's see this is our input which is having vm this is minus vm so next These are these are the extreme points. So let's see. Uh, whenever we are supplying zero to Vm, the capacitor will be in charging portion now. So uh, whenever we got Vm Vm here, then the capacitor is completely charged. It will act as a constant voltage source plus Vm. So this is our output. So what will be the output expression now? V naught will be equal to vi minus vm so vi minus sorry plus minus of plus vm that is minus vm so now after after vm we got zero no so substitute zero here then it will be equal to minus vm so at this portion we have zero volts at this portion we have minus vm so we have minus uh, vm here no at the negative extremity so minus vm substitute here v naught will be equal to minus 2 vm so hey again we have zero here it is of minus vm and it is of zero again here we have zero volts it is minus vm now so again minus vm like that so add this and the output will be like this that means that we are shifting our positive volt positive extremity to the zero at level if we use an any reference level there so we can shift that extremity to the reference level so by that way we can clamp in the positive direction as well as the negative direction this is about uh, the clamping operations and positive direction as well as the negative direction hope you uh, you will understand about this thank you